Hello. Today we're going to read chapter four. Well, part of chapter four. Because it's a long chapter, I'm going to read half. Not a single mom wanted to be a room mother. Not one. Oh dear, Mrs. Pigeon said with a sigh. <sighs> she looked at the board where the word cajole was carefully printed near the end of the word list. I guess cajoling doesn't always work. Cajole means to try to talk somebody into something. Well, said Tricia from her desk, we learned a new word anyway. That's always a good thing. Mrs. Pigeon nodded. True, she said. And you know, class, they say that if you use a new word three times, it is yours forever. Who says that? asked Beanie. I don't know, Miss Pigeon replied. They? Barry Tuckerman stood suddenly beside his desk. Cajole, 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 he said loudly. Now it is mine forever. No one else is allowed to say it. That isn't exactly what I meant, Barry. You do not own the word. We may all use it. And in fact, class, I wish you would all try a little more cajoling at home. This is the only class in Water Tower Elementary School that does not have a room mother yet. Mr. Leroy is becoming a little impatient about it. Now, though, I think we ought to start our preparations for the Thanksgiving pageant. The Muriel, I mean the mural, is coming along well. But we have to so we have a song to learn and costumes to make, and I have to select the cast. I already have a cast, Ben called out, holding up his arm. Ben had fallen from his bike a month earlier and broken his wrist. All of the children and Miss Pigeon and even the principal, Mr. Leroy, had signed their names on the cast using different colored markers. The names were faded now, and the cast itself, which had once been white, was gray and dirty with bits of string like dental floss dangling from it. Keiko wrinkled her nose and said, Your cast smells bad, Ben. I know, Ben said, making a face, but next week the doctor takes it off. Your arm will be all skinny and wrinkled inside when they take it off, Barry Tuckerman told him. My cousin had a cast on his arm, and his arm died inside the cast. Is that true, Miss Pigeon? Ben asked nervously. Your arm is probably dead already, probably green, Barry added. Ben's face began to pucker up. My arm is dead? Green? He wailed. Ah! Children, children, Miss Pigeon said, no, Ben, your arm will be fine. Besides, I'm talking about a different kind of cast. We need a cast of characters for the pageant. A pageant is like a play. We need pilgrims and Native Americans. We also need a turkey and let me see some succotash and pumpkin pie. But the food items don't have to be human beings. I want to be Squanto, Grooney Bird said. I love Squanto. He was always absolutely right smack in the middle of everything. Squanto's a boy, Barry called loudly. Only a boy can be Squanto, right, Miss Pigeon? Actually, Miss Pigeon said, I've already made a list, so put your hands down, everyone. She read the list aloud. There were 22 children in the classroom, and each was on the list. 11 pilgrims, 11 Native Americans. But who is Squanto, the children asked. Miss Pigeon looked around the class. Now every child, not just Goony Bird and Barry, was waving an arm in the air. They all wanted to be Squanto. Squanto was a special Native American who helped the pilgrims. And they all wanted to be him in the play. I haven't decided that yet, Miss Pigeon said, but I have an idea. She went to the board to the list of words. Reward, she wrote. You all know what a reward is, Miss Pigeon said. Money, shouted Ben. A thousand dollars if you catch a criminal. Well, Miss Pigeon said, it could be that. But a reward doesn't have to be about criminals. Let's look it up. Everyone opened the dictionaries and turned the pages. 
Chelsea raised her hand first. Reward, that which is given in appreciation, she read aloud to the class. You see, it doesn't have to be money, Miss Pigeon explained. And in this case, the reward I am giving, going to give is the important role of Squanto in the pageant. Someone is going to get that role in appreciation. It will be that person's reward for getting us a room, Mother. Reward for what? Oh, sorry. Reward for what? Several children asked at the same time. For catching a criminal? No, Mrs. Pigeon said. She sighed. <sighs> for finding me a room, Mother. So Miss Pigeon is going to give the part of Squanto in the play to the child who gets them a room mother. And then I'll read the second half of chapter four next.